Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to make medals in Arctune using matcaps in images. I want to put out a small disclaimer is that this is not going to be an insanely in-depth tutorial on every single setting that Arctune has to offer. Instead, I am going to be showing the basic way of how I and other creators do it. Feel free to experiment with the other settings on your own. I'm using Unity 2019, but as always, this still works with Unity 2018, nothing will be different. Our guinea pig avatar today is May by Yuria, and that's about it. Now how exactly do we get Arctune? Well, Arctune is one of those shaders where you have to know somebody in order to get it, as the GitHub and anything associated with Arctune was taken down or now leads to error websites. If you can find a website, then you can simply grab Arctune, but as of now, it's mostly just included in packages and you can get it from friends. Know somebody to get it. Now, the first thing we are going to need is to make cube maps. So I already have a few cube map here, but I'm going to show you how to exactly make a cube map. A cube map is turning a flat image into something three dimensional. It's, again, a cube is three-dimensional. We want this flat 2D image to be three-dimensional so it fits the shape, the sphere spherical shape of a material. So down here, we have a plain old image. It's just a snowy forest image that was found on Google. Some creators may include their images. You can find images as galaxy images. You can use holographic images, whatever you feel um, is needed. So. At the top right hand corner where it says texture type, it also says default. Below that, it says 2D texture shape. What we are going to change is the texture shape. We are going to click that and click cube. Unclick off of that, then click apply. As we look down here, it is now turned into a sphere a spherical shape that we can now apply to materials. Now that we have our cube map, we are going to right click, create, Material. Up at the right hand side where it says standard, apply Arctune. Feel free to use whatever kind of option you want. I personally use Alpha Cutout. Now again, we have a whole bunch of different settings. I will not be going into depth, but we have our main texture. We have our color of our main texture. Alpha Cutout shadows, self-explanatory. Now the first material that I apply is gloss. But even before that, there's a little bit of an optional material is double siding your metal shader. I personally double side it, meaning front, back, inside, out. It's flipped, it's double sided. I personally click that, it's all up to personal preference. First we want is gloss. We want our metal to be glossy, shiny, give it that metallic feel. Apply the gloss here, bam. We can now see down here that our little spherical shape has now become glossy. You can change the size of the gloss, you can change just about anything. The metallic, you can change the color of the gloss, but again, most of the time I don't play with the settings because they work for me, but find something that works for you, of course. Now, the third one down from gloss, so outline, matte cap, and reflection is the first way I'm going to show you is how to use a reflection. Click reflection. Now, there is a check mark underneath the first one, directly underneath, that says use reflection probe. Imagine a reflection probe as a tiny little camera in the corner of the room. So your metal is reflecting whatever is in the room. It's using a reflection probe. It's saying, I'm going to reflect the surfaces that are in the room. Well, that can't exactly give us holographic, and that can't exactly give us the snowy forest material that we want, or gold. So unless you want that, uncheck use reflection probe. Cube map is the setting that we are going to want to pay attention to. So here are our cube maps. I've made a holographic one. I made us the snowy forest one that I previously went over. We are going to take this reflection and we're going to drag the cube map all the way up to here. And bam, would you look at that? We've already completed step number one. It's already going to be glossy snowy forest. But I'm going to use the holographic because that's my little signature I do here. So we have the holographic metal right here. You can see the gloss, you can see it shines. Now, next thing that I personally do is add a rim. Now a rim is what's outlining the metal. It's what's gonna outline the metal to give it that kind of just, it's gonna give it more dimension, more depth. Of course, you can change the color of that. You don't have to apply that. It is completely optional to you. 
Now that we have this new material down here, I'm not going to rename it, but for your sake, I suggest renaming it. I'm going to find a place that has our metal shader or where we want our metal. Remember, click, drag, and drop into the metal. Bam. Now we have another metal shader. You can see it shifting through. You can see it being glossy. You can see the white outline. Now, if you don't know exactly how to change materials or anything that I just did right now, please check a previous video that was explained more in depth. But we can still play with the settings while it's applied and do whatever we want. Now, that was only step number one of how to make a metal shader. The next is using matte caps. I had an entire tutorial on matte caps, so if you would like that, please go check that out as well. But for the sake of this being very simple, I'm going to find a bunch of matte caps here. So here are a bunch of matte caps, all right? We have all of these matte caps here. Now, we're going to just find our random materials. Create, Material, Arctune, Alpha Cutout. I'm going to do the same thing that I did before, all the same settings. Just go back if you don't remember. And Matte Cap, we're going to go Add. Now, instead of using a cube map, we can use a matte cap. So let's say I want this metal to be this cool green matte cap that was provided by, by Poyomi. Texture and Color. Bam, right here. Now, with settings, you might have to play around with how everything works. I don't commonly use matte caps, but, you know, it is what it is. Find out what makes it work. Find out what makes it tick, how you want to do it. Drag different matte caps in. But the most common thing that we're going to have to remember is this is just applying the matte cap onto it. That doesn't make it a reflective surface. So reflection take off reflective probe, and now our matte cap became a reflection. Now it's very dull and dim. I would have to play around with the settings a little bit more here to get exactly what we wanted. I'm sure it wouldn't take me long figuring it out myself, but for the sake of this video being short, I'm gonna just give it the simple way and I'm not gonna think <laughs> too much of it. Now we're gonna go back to our materials where we have that saved. We're gonna go back to the jacket where the little metal is, drag and drop. Now we have a reflective surface. And again, as of right now, it's not very shiny and it's not very reflective. You are gonna have to play around with the settings yourself, but it is a simple way to use matte caps. If you ever have a problem with that, you know, try different med cap, try different settings, but at the end of the day, Using a cube map for me is the simplest out there. I really hope this helped you learn how to make metal shaders and have a good day.